Hello. Oh, I need to free up some space on my phone. Um, hello, Libra. No, it's not Libra. Virgo. I'm reading for Virgo today. I thought I was reading for Libra, but I'm not. I'm reading for Virgo. All right. So, hello, Virgo. We are going to be reading for you for Spooky Tarot for October. All right. So, I have my lights. It's blinding me. It's so bright. I'm wondering if I should turn it down. Um, it's really bright. But, you know, you need it so you guys can see. All right. So, I have my Spooky Tarot. Ooh. And you guys know that October is my favorite month because of Spooky Tarot. So, I'm going to have to move this because it's falling. Oh, my God. Can I get it together today? Maybe not. All right. I know there's kind of a glare on my glasses. I tried to put my contacts in today, and it was just not working it was not working it was burning this eye and so i couldn't put them in so we are going to make do with this light and you're gonna have to make do with the glare sorry about that virgo all right so you know october is my favorite month because i do spooky tarot and let's see so i have my spooky tarot ready and i'm ready to go Okay, sorry about that, Virgo. I had to pause it and try to get the light, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit closer to my phone <clears throat> because it was like, I don't know, it was crazy and it just, I couldn't, yeah. All right, so I do not have, it looks a little bit different because I'm actually sitting on the floor. I do not have my, um, Goodness gracious, why can I think right now? I do not have my camera stand because I left it at my mom's house in Lansing when she had surgery. I went there to help her and to take care of her. And so I don't have my camera stand, Virgo. So I'm propping my phone literally on these set of tarot decks. And so it's really precarious. <laughs> Um, it could fall at any time and the light fell already once because I have to prop it up because I don't have my whole setup here. It sucks, but we're going to, we, we push through, we push through. So we're going to push through. I'm going to, we're still going. We're not stopping. There's no stopping. So I'm sitting on the floor. So, <clears throat> you know, we going to do this. All right, um, I need to, actually, I'm going to pause this again because I'm going to sound cleanse one second. All right, I went ahead and sound cleanse with my bell and I already um, asked Archangel Michael to protect this space for us while I read. And we are ready to go. This space is clean. We're reading now for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, Virgo, y'all have some throat chakra issues because my throat is all of a sudden. All right, what does Virgo need to know? What do we have for Virgo? Do, 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 do. What do we have for Virgo, please? Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> I was expecting that to come out. Y'all got some, y'all got a great love coming in, Virgo. Can I just say that, Virgo? Look at this. Look at this, Virgo. I feel like my cheeks are really red today. I don't know why. Maybe it's the lighting. Do I have to put too much blusher on? I don't know. I feel like everything else is like feels pale and like my face my cheeks are so red all right so who virgo we have a two of cups so this is a really really this is my twin flame card honest to god like um i guess it could be a soulmate but 
usually like the two of cups in in my eyes that's the twin flame card you know either way it's a it's a really deep connection virgo period okay so let's get a little bit more information on this wow what the freaking frick okay i almost cussed because this is okay so we have the two of cups which is really beautiful energy right can you see that there and then I was like, let's get a little bit more information on this. And we got this. The Ten of Swords. What is happening, Virgo? Like, seriously, what's happening? I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's happening. I get it. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here? I don't understand it. Why do I have the Ten of Swords here, please? Knights of Pentacles. This doesn't make any sense at all, Virgo. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Knight of Pentacles. So, the Knight of Pentacles is like... doesn't really make any sense so it's about someone making slow progress towards you right so the only thing I can think of is you have love coming in right it's a really deep connection I, I would go I would go so far as to say this is probably your twin flame Virgo okay if it's not if it's not, it is a super deep soul connection, okay? Um, with the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, I don't think, Virgo, that you really thought that this person was going to come forward. I think, I honestly think this is coming as a surprise. I feel like you didn't feel like this person was going to come forward because they're moving so slowly towards you they are coming okay because you know with well ten of swords is like devastation right it's basically like feeling like you're dying okay or you know actual death but <laughs> i mean you have love coming in so you're not dying virgo okay um, but it feels like you're dying or this is coming from a, a period of like, this person may have not showed any interest in you, right? And excuse me. So this person may not have showed interest as far as making their way towards you. Like, I feel like you may have been, there may have been no movement between you and this person, right? You may be friends. It could be, sorry about any background noise, um, that you guys had a thing and then it went nowhere. I don't know. But it, it got to this point where, like, it feels like you thought nothing was going to happen, right? It was just like, you felt like there was no movement because they were moving so slow, right? Because Knight of Pentacles is about slow movement. So they were making their way towards you. They were just going really slowly. Oh my gosh. Let's get two more cards in this tarot deck and then we're going to move on. What else does Virgo need to know about this connection? Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source. I forgot to unplug that charger. Um, oh yeah. So... <clears throat> This person, um, there's been a lot of anxiety about coming forward. So, they will come forward, okay? But I see that, I mean, we have the Nine of Swords. So, this has caused anxiety, not just for you, but also for this person. Both of you guys are super anxious. Like, you're anxiously waiting for them to come forward. And <laughs> they're anxiously wanting to come forward, but they're not. This is ridiculous. 
Okay, so what is the hold up here? Can I ask that? Like, why? Why is there anxiety about coming forward? Okay, let's just ask that. <laughs> why so much hesitation? Five of Cups. So this person may have made some mistakes, Virgo. Um, they may have fucked up. Damn it, I was trying not to cuss. But they may have fucked up. And because look, we have the three cups that are spilled, and then we have two cups over here. So they may feel like they have made more mistakes than they've done good things in this connection. And they're afraid that you're going to be worried about their past actions. Right? But they've learned a lot, okay? With all of this, it seems to me like this is enlightenment. Your person may have went through a spiritual awakening and now they're starting to see holy shiz this see i'm getting better at not cussing holy shiz this was my person this was my twin flame right all right we're gonna duck we're done we're done with that duck see this is why i say love is scary this is why i do spooky tarot because love is scary y'all i feel like there's a hair hold on Oh, there's, I feel like there's a hair. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of hair. Look at that. I'm like shedding like a, I'm just going to put it right here on my tarot table until I can, oh, my God, this is not going to work. I don't want to put this on the carpet because it's just gross. Ugh, hold on one second. I'm annoyed. <sighs> okay, Virgo, I'm back. Sorry, I'm shedding. I don't know. <laughs> shedding. Oh, uh, shoot. Alright, um, I want this reading to get super long. I can't shuffle up there. I'm, so I'm going to, we're gonna, hmm. You know what? I was gonna use this tarot deck, but I think I want to, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll do. This is my small tarot deck. What the frick? All right, what else do we need to know about this connection? Londi, you're being loud. You need to go sit down, please. I can hear you. All right, so Virgo, this person may have been holding on to their emotions. Um, they were, I don't know why they were holding on to the emotions. Maybe they're afraid of getting hurt, right? We have four of pentacles. This is like someone holding on to their not opening up, holding on to secrets and things, right? Could have been out of fear. They weren't giving the equal energy that you were giving, Virgo. Oh, look, but they're stepping up now. We got Emperor. Woo! Ooh wee. Okay, one more card and then we're moving on. They're stepping up now, Virgo. Okay. The Emperor is like this. London one second all right so the emperor energy is this energy of take charge it's this energy of <clears throat> someone that knows what they want and they're they're gonna they're gonna go after it you know the emperor is fire sign energy it's Aries Leo Sag and it's it's a masculine energy but you know put it where you fit in there's it, it, it's not about gender it's someone who would who would be in their masculine energy um, more so, right? Meaning they know what they want. They're coming for it. Okay. It's not about gender. Last card for Virgo. And then we're going to move on and get some more messages from a different deck. Oh my gosh. There's My hair is literally in this deck again. What is happening? Um, I just threw it on the floor. Seven, is that seven? Seven of Pentacles. Well, um, 
I feel like Virgo, you will know who this person is because it's, it's someone that you have history with. It's someone that you have already planted seeds with, <clears throat> right? And now they want to put the work in. They may not have wanted to before, but they definitely do now. All right, um, <clears throat> I'm going to move on to the Love Oracle. Sorry, Virgo, my kids are just, they're being loud. Ooh. Managed to get one shuffle out there. All right. <clears throat> What else does Virgo need to know? We'll get three cards from here, please, Spirit. What else does Virgo need? I need to clean my tarot table, y'all. It's dusty. I clean it every single time I do reads, and it still just gets dusty as heck. Just dusted it with mended my last reads. See? Ooh, Virgo. So this person thought that the grass was greener. On the other side, they very quickly realized that nothing compares to Virgo. <laughs> right? Reconciliation. I told you, you can't make it up. The cards don't lie. Virgo, they're coming back in. It's possibly someone from your past. You don't know who it is. It's the person on your mind, Virgo. Okay? It's the person on your mind. Whoever that is. Last card. See? They, they can feel the deep attraction. Virgo, they are... Ooh, I told you, it's twin flames. You guys, it's magnetic. Magnets. Magnets. Drawing to each other. Magnetically attracted to each other. Polarities. Boom. All right. Let's get some... Actually, let's do a numerology card for you, and then we'll do the message of love, Oracle. And then we're going to end with a um, Keepers of the Light card. Whew, I can't believe I'm still going, Virgo. I have been up since like 3.30 this morning. I get up super early. I don't know why. I just, I haven't, my schedule's all crazy. So I've been getting up around 3.30, 4 a.m. And by 8 o'clock, I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. It's. It's like dinner time here. It's almost five. It's like 4.30, something like that. And I'm gonna make some food for my littles and then I'm gonna relax for the rest of the night. I have a client tomorrow. All right, let's see. Let's get a numerology card for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know, please? All right, we have, whoa, 67 physical activity. So, Virgo, you are being asked at this time to up your physical activity. I don't know why. You know, I don't shoot the messenger. Spirit tells me things and, you know, through the cards. And, you know, you can take the advice or don't. I mean, whatever. Um, seven and six, that's 13, right? Seven, eight, nine, yeah, 13. So uh, let's break that down again. 13, um, four, three and one, four. So, no, oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> this is an, uh, a message from your angels. They're saying to up your physical activity, probably because when your person comes in, y'all gonna be, you know, you know. <laughs> you need, you're gonna need to do your, stretches because this is going to be a whole lot of physical activity okay that's all i'm gonna say about that virgo all right um let's get some <laughs> messages of love oracle what is the what does virgo's person want to say to them what are the secrets in their heart that they have not told virgo about how they are feeling and come in come in what are the feelings of their heart what's up baby oh hold on one second 
Hey, sorry about that, Virgo. Ugh, it's a shit show. My kids are acting up. All right, so what are the messages that Virgo's person wants to tell them but is not? We're just going to say that, okay? This reading's already getting way too long. All right. What does Virgo need to know from their person? What are the messages that their heart? Now I see why there's hair everywhere. The, my, I was pulling my hair with my cards. Whoa, ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Oh my gosh. I told you this person was in their ego. So they had an awakening and now their ego is, has completely, they had an ego death. Disintegrated. They're done, Virgo. Total ego death. I can feel it. Ouch. Well, that's what they needed in order to get their head out of their ass so they can realize that, you know, you are their person, Virgo. Escape. I left when things got hard. See, they, they ghosted you. They may have ghosted you. They probably ghosted you. They ghosted you. They thought the grass was greener. They thought they're, oh, you know, this person is replaceable. And then they quickly realized, oh, well, not Virgo. I can't replace Virgo. No. Nope. Virgo's too juicy. Juicy. Damn fools. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Last card for Virgo. Space, I need more time to think. See, I told you they're making their way to you, but it's it's going to be, is it going to happen in the next three, four weeks? Probably not. They're making their way to you slowly, slowly, because they're trying to devise a plan, Virgo. You know, so I know it feels bad and, you know, with the Ten of, ten of Swords, I know you haven't been having the hardest, haven't been, dang it. <laughs> I know you haven't been having the easiest time with this Virgo, but I promise you, your person is on the way. Okay? You're on the way. Uh, you may be 52 by the time they get there, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I kid, I kid. All right. Last card for Virgo. We're going to pull a... What the frick? Deck is this. Keepers of the Light. We are going to end on a happy note for you, Virgo. So just so you know, this person did feel like, like how you did. They felt like death when they had to pull back their energy from you. Okay, don't think that they're not hurting because they are. If this is a twin flame connection, which I have a really strong suspicion it is, they're feeling everything that you're feeling and probably 10 times worse because they feel like the miscommunication was their fault, right? All right, we have snack for a light activation. I told you, your person's going through an awakening. You probably both are, but more so I feel it on their end. Light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. I'm going to read it for you from the book. Okay. Sanat Kamara. Sanat Kamara, which means eternal youth, is an advanced cosmic light being who is dedicated to helping the earth rise up towards the light. He is... As far as I'm concerned, the leader of the keepers of the light. He has been acknowledged as a god in Hinduism and in the Mahabharata story, which has come down from heaven bearing God's divine plan. In more recent times, he has been acknowledged as coming from Venus and bringing through unconditional love. Oh, wow, I just got a Venus card the other day for a personal reading for myself he has eyes that are made of the cosmos with the ability to penetrate the soul and activate its brightest light yet he can seem otherworldly because his looks are beyond human 
Wow. He is a being of the light, shining with the purest intentions. He is the twin flame of Lady Venus. That was the card I got, Lady Venus. All right. Together, they activate the heart and light of those who welcome their help so they can shine brighter than ever. You are here to light up the world. Oh, Virgo, you are. You may feel that you are being pushed or that there is a lot going on at once. And this is because your energy is magnetic to others and they want it in their life. Take the time to listen to your inner voice. Remember the cosmic light of heaven and draw it into you. That is all you need to do to inspire the world. You inspire the world just by being Virgo. I love that. That seems like a really nice place to end this reading. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, then um, click on the description box below the video. Or I will also put a pinned comment in the comments. So there's, it makes it way easier for you guys to book a reading with me, okay? And if something resonated please like and subscribe because it helps me to grow my channel. I love you so fiercely, Virgo. Mwah.